Kia ora, welcome back. In this video we're going to look at homozygous, heterozygous, dominant and recessive. So in the last video we, are, we introduced some really important terms. Um, one of them was genotype. So genotype uh, was related to the genes and it was the combination of alleles that an individual has. So we're going to stick with the eye colour example because I have no creativity at all and that one works. Um, so genotype, so the eye colour genotypes that we came across last time were capital B, lowercase b. So that indicates that the individual has on their chromosomes, one, one of the homologous pairs has a capital B allele and the other, um, uh, the other chromosome has a lowercase b allele, so a brown eyed allele and a blue eyed allele. Uh, one other possibility that we came across was b lowercase b lowercase b and that indicates that the individual has two blue eyed alleles uh, there's one more if we were just to have two alleles for the for the gene of eye color and for all of the examples that we use for level one genetics there will only be two possible alleles and, and obviously there would be more possibilities because we have blue eyes brown eyes green eyes and so on um, so in this case, we're just going to simplify it. We're only ever going to have two possible alleles for each gene. So if we've got two possible alleles, then there's one other possibility for what the genotype of an individual could be. So big blue, uh, brown eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes, they could also have two brown eyed alleles. And this combination of alleles that they have, the, the broad name for it is genotype. Um, but we can describe these combinations of alleles using a word as well. And if we've got two different alleles in an individual, we call this heterozygous. 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 Oh, yes. And if an individual has two of the same alleles, we call them homozygous. Homozygous. And they could be homozygous recessive or homozygous dominant. And let's have a look at what those two words mean now. So dominant and recessive are related to the phenotype of an individual. Phenotype. And, and also the genotype. So if we've got uh, three individuals, one of them has the genotype of capital B, capital B. The other one has the genotype of capital B, lowercase b and the last individual has got lowercase b, lowercase b. These three individuals, there would only be two phenotypes shared between them. So these two individuals here would have brown eyes. Brown eyes. And this individual would have blue eyes. So notice that even though there, in this case there is a um, lowercase b present, uh, we still see the phenotype of brown eyes. So what that indicates is that this allele here must be hiding that allele. So the, the effect of this one, which is uh, what we say is dominant, the dominant allele masks the effect of the recessive allele. So brown eyes in this case are a dominant allele, and blue eyes are recessive. If you were asked to define these two words in an exam, um, a good definition that we could use is that uh, dominant alleles are always expressed, are always expressed if present. Um, so this word expressed is really important, so that's saying that the the allele is, is shown, um, would be another word for expressed. Um, and recessive alleles, we can continue this, whereas recessive alleles, alleles can be, be hidden by dominant alleles. We can include that as well. So I hope this helps with your understanding of recessive, uh, dominant, homozygous, and heterozygous. Looking forward to seeing you for the next genetic variation video.